Well, hello there, muffins, and welcome back to the MDG experience, okay, you guys? So, first things first, thank you to all my subscribers, and thank you for all of the wonderful likes and comments that you guys have left me, okay? On this channel, you guys, I'd like to talk to you about spiritual related things and life. So today, you guys, your message is about angel number 555, okay? So first things first, I'm going to explain to you the number five, okay? So the number five represents freedom, change, adventure, being adaptive, and your self-independence. So I felt called to do this one for you guys, but do it a little different than how I did the others. And I'm grateful. So the first thing when I was setting the tone, setting the sacred space to receive the messages, the song by Whitney Houston and I will always love you was playing the whole time <laughs> i don't know where it came from <laughs> but i will definitely say that i do feel someone in here is either taking a break for, from somebody or going through a breakup of something but there's some type of break that is needed okay and i'm going to say that's that's what i was feeling <laughs> when the song was <laughs> playing because i was singing i was like oh i was like is that for somebody is that for me but I know it's not for me, but you know, you guys. So if it resonates with you, be sure to comment and let me know. And also welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in with me, okay? And welcome to the MDG experience, okay? And thank you to my already subscribed people, okay? So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get into your reading, okay? So the first card you have is trust your path okay if you knew you would be supported what would you do okay so what I'm feeling is that some of you need to have a little bit more faith in your path and where you're going you need to make a change in your beliefs and be confident and know that the path that you're going down is the one that's right for you. It's what's best for you. It's what spirit wants for you. It's where your higher self wants to be. So allow your higher self to guide you there. Okay. So your next one is pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. So some of you are going through um, transformation. Some of you are going through awakenings and that's why also spirit wants you to trust your path to know that the things that you're going through um the darkness that you're experiencing is only temporary it's only a stepping stone because you're going to be in the light because if you look at this person here this this lady here she's rising to the light you guys can see that she's rising to the light so you guys are coming from a dark space into the light so you gotta trust it believe in it okay yeah the ever under the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you not to you so you need to have a better uh mindset uh a better outlook on a on what it is that you're going through, change your perspective. Trust is literally, wow, the, the overall message is what I'm feeling, trust. So take a break, wow. Take a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. So um, like I was saying before, I felt that some there was a break for something. I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out exactly what some of you are taking a break from. But I know some of you are taking a break from a person, okay? But also, whatever it is that this person, whatever it is that you guys are going through, um, you probably can't believe that it has actually happened to you, okay? But it's all a part of your awakening, your transformation, 
Um, Spirit is trying to show you something and you need to see it, you know, before you can get to the light. So be more positive and yeah, align, align your thoughts um, so that you can be from a, so that you can see from a better perspective. So it says align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? So whoever is going through uh, something that is life changing, just allow for it to unfold for you and allow for it to mold you and shape you into what it is that you're trying to be aligned with. So allow your life to change because there's something that you've asked for. Um, I'm feeling that you asked for something and it's happening for you, but this is only the beginning stages. So trust in it, believe in it, have faith in it, okay? Because it's all going to happen in the way that spirit wants for it to happen. Divine timing, okay? So next you have priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? So what I'm getting from this is you, you're a leader, honestly. And fitting in is not where you need to be, okay? Um, playing safe is not what you need to be, is what I'm getting from that. And you got to step outside the box and be positive. Go into the uncomfortable so that you can, wow, go into the uncomfortable so that you can um, do what it is that you need to. So this card, when I said that, whatever it is uh, that you're going through, you're being brought to the doctor so that you can get through the light. This card literally says the initiation, rite of passage, <laughs> crossing the threshold. So you are coming from a dark space. You're having a, a death. It's not death as in like you're physically dying, but you're going through a rebirth, a spiritual alignment that's what you're doing so you're being brought through some things and things are being brought to the surface so that you can see what they are you can address them make the changes that you need align yourself with what it is that you are trying to get whatever it is that you want so you have to remove the unnecessary things remove the things that don't serve you anymore because wherever you're going it's beautiful it's radiant you're going to be a resilient person and you you have to release that that clutter that old darkness that um those things that are weighing you down okay yeah <laughs> right on time. It says, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So how are you being called up to, uh, to step up and lead? It's literally, it's something that you're being called to do. Some of you, you are being called to be of service of other people. Either you have a business and it has products and services that um, you are offering to other people. Something that's maybe holistic, uh, spiritual, or um, you have a certain gift um, with a spiritual gift that needs to be worked on. You need to practice with it and also put it out there because you're being called to help other people. So you need to talk to your ancestors, listen to your spirit guides, your spirit team. And allow for them to help you see this gift. And I, that's what I feel for some of you. Um, some of you, I feel that... You're being called to lead family. And to some... Wow, that's really um, <laughs> just a moment. A brief moment. Um, there's this thing that I am 
working on and it does pertain to one of my family members and wow but some of you are being called to step up and lead your family into something into generational wealth okay that's what i just heard you're being called to lead a group of people some of you that's like being public speaking and as this is coming to me this smoke i the smoke coming from over here i see <laughs> a blue aura around it literally i see a blue aura so some of you are being called to do public speaking some of you are being called to lead a spiritual group but you are you are holding yourself back um and some of you there's a certain person holding you back that you need to let go of um and you need to allow this person to leave your life because i feel like this person is already removed from your life but for some reason you want to go back to them uh, or they want to come back to you um what i'm feeling is that they literally they miss you basically and they want to come back but <laughs> this card that i just <laughs> flipped over in my hand says protection call back your power cut the cords soul retrieval so you need to let them go <laughs> you need to let them move on okay because you're being called to step up and lead a community. You're being called to step up and lead your family, okay? And some of you are single parents. So you're being called to step up and be the leader for this child. Or what I'm hearing, somebody's, somebody's taking in someone's child. Taking in some, a family member's child. But you you're being called to step up and do it and this person is holding you back so you gotta let that go okay so the last one you have is soul family calling your tribe you don't have to do it alone so uh some of you are trying to figure out how you're gonna do it you're asking how the spirit wants you to know don't worry about the how okay call on them for help ask them for guidance trust your ancestors trust your angels your spirit team Call on them when you need them. They will be there. They will give you the help that you need. But when you call on them, be specific about what it is that you need help with. Don't just say, I need help. Because then they, they're going to go in there and fill it in for you. And it's going to be something that, okay, well, I didn't want that type of help. Say what it is that you want specifically, okay? Be precise. Okay, so for your overall message that I got from Spirit... Yeah, some of you, you got to take a break from something. Some of you are working too hard. You're being overworked. And this is take time to breathe out, okay? Some of you are overwhelmed with whatever it is. God, I, I do feel pressure. I feel pressure in my chest. But some of you are being pressured. You have a lot of pressure from either work um a relationship like you feel like you're obligated to stay in it but you're not uh you can let it go because clearly <laughs> this thing says <laughs> take a break you're going through a transformation so you need to let this go as you go through your transformation and trust that, that it's it's happening for you not to you okay so yeah take take time to breathe get yourself together and do some meditation journal write what it is that's bothering you let that out of your chest because it's a lot of pressure here on my chest and some of you are just holding in you're suppressing and that is not really good so that's a change that you need to make you need to find a way to get it out go see a therapist or talk to friends talk to family you need to get whatever is in your chest that's bottled up you need to let that out because eventually if you don't you're probably going to i mean i'm going to take that back 
I'm not even going to speak that. I'm going to say that you're going to let that out from your chest, okay? But you definitely need to take a break. Go on a vacation. Um, I'm hearing that some of you need to connect with water. Go to a beach or something. Some of you live close by a beach. Take a walk on the beach. Uh, early in the morning is what I'm hearing. When no one is up, release. And just allow for yourself to flow, your emotions to flow with the water, okay? So the last one you have is luck is on your side. So after all of this is said and done and you come through this transformation in the darkness, you're going to see the light. Whatever it is that you're asking for, literally is there for you on the other side. So you just have to hold on and, and be patient, be gentle with yourself and know that in the process, things are happening and the spirit is working on your behalf. You just have to allow for them to work for you. Trust in them, okay? Because they are not going to let you down. They are doing their best to remove anything that will keep you from getting your blessings, okay? Luck is on your side. It's there for you. It's coming to you. Just be patient. For some reason, I feel like I, I need to draw another card for you. Um, so let's get another message so that we can see what, they, um, what else needs to be heard for you. Okay, so dear spirit, what is it that the viewers, the collective watching this video for 555, what is, is it that they need to know? What is it that you want them to hear? What's, oh, what's their guidance? Yep, yep, they gave you two. Wow, a fiery climax approaches is at the end of the deck for you they gave you two so this one says first I'll, I'll do what came out first the end of a tough cycle approaches okay so this the bottom of this card some of you are, are Capricorns okay it says the end of a tough cycle approaches so a part of this change is something that you've been stressing about is, is coming to an end. Some of you have been going through this transformation for a long time and you're wondering when it's going to end. The Spirit wants you to know that it is about to end. Some of you, your end is coming soon. Um, so just, just be patient with it because it'll be over with in a short amount of time is what I'm hearing. Okay, and the next one is a win-win outcome is in the forecast okay so luck is on your side okay you are crossing the threshold do you hear that you're crossing the threshold so you just have to clearly be patient and keep fighting keep pushing baby because it's going to be over with for you and that is your message, you guys, <laughs> for angel number 555. I got to leave some water because my throat is so dry. <laughs> but thank you for tuning in with me once again on the MDG experience. And also, be sure to let me know how this resonates with you in the comments. Like and subscribe to the video. And I will be back with more.